Hi, good evening, friends. Welcome to UGC Net Online Free Coaching. I am very happy about your response. Every day, looking minimum two hundred people's my videos. This is great achievement for me. Uh, I need same cooperation my future also. Today, I will start new series on uh, June two thousand five. We will see first question. Which of the following is not true? Same question. Uh, this question asked two to three times in New Jersey Net and also uh, Gate also. Which of the following is not true related to finite automata? Uh, uh, related to machine computer uh, computational capacity. First option is power of deterministic automata is equal to power of non-deterministic automata, and second one is power of deterministic pushtone automata is equal to power of non-deterministic pushtone automata. Third one is power of deterministic Turing machine is equal to non-deterministic Turing machine. If it is true, all fourth option. But uh, this is uh, related to property. Uh, uh, very straightforward question. Deterministic and non-deterministic non finite automata have equivalent computational capa capacities, and also deterministic and non-deterministic Turing machine have the same computational capabilities. The computational capa capabilities of uh, deterministic Pushtone automata are less than non-deterministic Pushtone automata. You keep this one computational cap. Uh, capabilities of deterministic Pushtone automata are less than non-deterministic Pushtone automata. So the given question, first question option is B is right. Okay, I hope it's clear. To uh, finite automata and deterministic finite automata, non-deterministic finite automata, same as uh, uh, Turing machine, deterministic Turing machine, non-deterministic Turing machines have same computational capacities only. Pushtone automata, uh, deterministic Pushtone automata are less than non-deterministic Pushtone automata computational capacity. So the question, first question answer is B. Uh, power of deterministic Pushtone automata is equal to power of non-deterministic Pushtone automata. So next question is uh, all viewers and sub subscribers, I will suggest you before looking these videos. You need to study at least once all the subjects, then uh, see these videos. Otherwise, it is very difficult to carry. Uh, so, come to the question. Second question: Identify the language which is not context-free. Actually, um, the given uh, four languages find which is not context-free means uh, other than context-free language. It may be regular or it may be recursive enumerable language. Uh, so, for this. Um, Actually, in question number uh, option A, W W raised to R means string uh, W belongs to zero or one star means uh, n number of strings. It may be include epsilon. Uh, w whatever for example W has some characters same characters W raised to R but it is in reverse order means uh, this is definitely it is a context free language because number of uh, uh, characters in W equal to number of characters in W raised to R. So we need to read this language Pushtone automata. So that's why it is context free. Second one A raised to N and B raised to N means number of A is equal to number of B's. Obviously because N raised to N, N greater than or equal to 0. Number uh, If it is N equal to 5, uh, 5 is equal to 5 B's. See uh, this one also need to uh, to read this language Pushtone automata, so it is also a context free language. Then look at uh, option C W, W, uh, two, uh, two times string belongs to 0, 1 raised to star. Here it may generate any number of strings, there is no restriction. So, so um, it is not context free language. Look at the fourth option A raised to N, B raised to M, C raised to M, D raised to N means number of A equal to number of D, 
number of B equal to number of C. So, number of AB equal to number of CD means same as option 1 and A and B. So, this is also a context free. So, option uh, for this question is C. It is not context free, it is a regular language. I hope it is clear. We will go for third question. The transitive closure of the relation R on set A whose relation matrix the given matrix uh, there are four options actually transitive closure means what it needs a transit it holds good for transitive property uh, look at the uh, answer consider the given matrix given matrix then find the transitive property transitive properties A B if there is a relation between A to B then there is a relation between B to C, the set must contain A to C. It is possible only in option C. So, uh, that is, look at uh, option C the, in this matrix. Otherwise, A to C, there is no relation. Here also, A to C, there is no relation. But, A to C, there is a relation, but there is no relation between A to B, B to C. That's why, only option C holds good for transitive closure. Transitive, what is transitive closure? Uh, the relation between A to B, there is a relation between A to B, same, uh, same relation B to C, then there is a relation between A to C. That's why the option is C. Is it okay? Now we will move for fourth question. Consider the relation on the set of non-negative integers defined by x equal to y if and only if. Okay, there is a relation x mod 3 equal to 3 mod y, 3 mod x is equal to 3 mod y, x mod 3 equal to y mod 3, none of the above. In this relation, what is the condition is x equal to y. x equal to y, the given condition, we will write like this, x mod 3 we may, we may write x mod 3 like this, y mod 3 we may write like this. So, we write x mod 3 uh, equal to y mod 3. So, option is C, x mod 3 equal to y mod 3, the, these two are equal. Fifth question, the minimum number of individual shoes to be picked up from a dark room containing 10 pairs of shoes if we have to get at least one proper pair means there are some shoes you need to pick in a dark room in what extent means what drawn we will get a proper pair uh, the pairs are 20 no, uh, sorry the back contain 10 pairs of shoes means if you start if you want to proper pair first we need to draw 10 shoes independently then when you draw 11th shoes that is it is it is one of the proper pair so uh, we need minimum 11 drawn to get a one proper pair if you want to one pop, proper pair first we need to draw 10 shoes all 10 shoes we obtain left or right pair alone 11th onwards we will obtain its opposite pair so minimum number of drawn is 11 so answer is c then sixth question this is very interesting uh, actually, the given binary base 25 equal to 53 base B. Then B is equal to means we need to find what is the value of B. 53 base B, what is the value of B? For this, first we need to convert decimal number. This is 1, this is 1 raised 1 into 2 raised to 0. This one second one 1 into 2 raised to 1 0 into 2 raised to 2 and 1 into 2 raised to 3 0 into 2 raised to 4 1 into 2 raised to 5 this one now b into 
b raised to because we don't know the base value b into b raised to 1 plus 3 into b raised to 0 now solve this one this is 2 raised to 5 is 32 this is 0 2 raised to 3 is 8 this is 0 and uh, 2 raised to 1 is 2 2 raised to 0 is 1 so total this is 32 plus 8 plus 2 plus 1 means uh, 10 plus 1 11 32 11 plus 32 is 43 uh, for left hand side uh, this is um, 5b plus 3 into b raised to b raised to 0 is 1 so 5b plus 3 right hand side now simplify this one 5b equal to 40 uh, take this one left hand side it is 43 minus 3 is 40 uh, b equal to 40 divided by 5 that is 8 so hence we get the answer is b option is 8 so get it's very simple the given binary number base 25 equal to decimal number base b then find b is actually it is not decimal it is octal number now we keep the result uh, now answer is just convert the given number in decimal uh, you know how to convert the binary to decimal that is multiples of 2 then this one convert into de uh, decimal that is we, do, we don't know the value of b so just keep it as it is 5 into b raised to 1 and 3 into b raised to 0 so after simplify we will get the b equal to 8 so means what uh, this uh, binary number base 25 equal to 53 base 8 so option is b uh, please uh, if you have any queries just mail me or just comment in youtube comment box uh, i hope some of you got uh, uh, notes ebooks and all if you want notes and ebooks just uh, yeah, leave it your mail id in youtube comment box uh, please subscribe share share uh, promote this channel then i can uh, i can make more and more videos in future then uh, come to the question number 7 the logic expression x dash y z dash plus x dash y z plus x y z z dash plus x y z reduced to reduced to now we will solve in a two ways way uh, the given is uh, given expression just take first two value uh, just take these two x bar y x bar y is common take it outside so remains is z dash plus z here x y is common so take it outside remains is z dash plus z we know we know that a plus a dash equal to 1 means z dash plus z equal to means z plus z dash equal to 1 so uh, remains is x dash y plus x y so take it y common and x x dash equal to same property this is 1 so reduce to y this is one of the simple way other way uh, will go for table method this is x dash y z dash this is x dash y z dash that is 1 x dash y z this is x dash y z means this one x y z dash this is x y z dash this one this corner value x y z x y z this one just for this value is y because it will not change x is changes and z is changes z is 1 and 0 x is 0 and 1 so y is constant so it reduced to y i hope both the methods is very simple which one you will feel better you adopt that one for this the logic expression this expression reduced to c now we will move to the eighth question which of the following logic has the maximum pan out this is very 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 important question this question asked minimum 
five times in previous question papers. It is very important question uh, for uh, all UGC net and uh, uh, CSIR net and also gate exams. Uh, first of all, uh, this time they will ask maximum fan out sometime which is the fastest logic family which is uh, maximum noise um, which will take a low power and all it may ask any uh, it may change question but same question every time it is a compulsory one question so be careful for this question before looking this answer we'll see all some important properties of logic gates first one is high threshold logic this is key feature key properties maximum noise immunity yet tl logic is maximum noise immunity second one ecl this is very important bipolar fastest logic family this question uh, which is the fastest logic family uh, same question asked in two to three times be careful this is fastest logic family and uh, maximum propagation delay it has maximum propagation delay low packing density uh, these are the some key features of ecl then ttl this is um, widely used bipolar these two are uh, these two bipolar logic uh, logic gate ttl is the widely used bipolar logic gate so um, this uh, key feature of ttl is bipolar and low power Conjunction as compare actually as compare ECL and TTL, but it is uh, more as compare CMOS is the low power than TTL. CMOS complementary metal oxide semiconductor logic gate. This is unipolar. These two are bipolar. CMOS is unipolar. Low power. Low power means it will take low power as compare all logic gates, uh, including TTL also maximum fan out is cmos this is very important same question it is uh, now 2005 june asked which logic it is maximum fan out that is cmos keep in your mind this is very important and next one mmos uh, metal oxide semiconductor this is maximum device density the key feature is maximum device density means it is uh, uh, more area then RTL register transistor logic it is integrated logic family integrated the logic family is RTL in these logic gates ECL is the fastest logic family uh, keep in your mind it's very important TTL is a bipolar widely used logic family and CMOS is a maximum fan out and low power consumption and unipolar logic I hope it's uh, you want to shoot all these logic uh, uh, gates if you want to read more and uh, if you want to know more about this logic just uh, go through uh, any standard book we'll look at the question now which of the following gate logic has which of the following logic has the maximum fan out the question is CMOS maximum fan out is CMOS so option is D. Now we will move to the next question. An example of binary number which is equal, equal to its two complement is. Already I have explained in 2004 question number 6. Uh, one second. This is given number. Given numbers. All numbers. One's complement of these numbers. And convert this one into two's complement. We will get a uh, final answer. Uh, already I have solved this question in 2004. Look at one second. Uh, I will not spend more time here. Uh, option is C. The given number is 1000. Two's complement also will get a 1000. But uh, option A is uh, given is not equal to two's complement. Option B also same. Given is not equal to two's complement. Option D given is not equal to two's complement only option c is the given number equal to two's complement how to convert one's complement to two's complement very simple one's uh, the given number convert into a zero to one one to zero that is one's complement then add one's complement to one you will get a two's complement it's very simple just go through it one second in 2004 
sixth question i have explained in detail here now we'll move to the uh, 10th question last one identify the logic function performed by the circuit shown the given circuit which logic for this answer is x and y input it is uh, 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 xr and exclusion r and nor it will get the answer you know already it is standard answer then the given nor gate apply the rule for nor gate means just apply the rule of nor gate we will get the result of exclude you or gate for this gate it generates exclude you nor gate the just you apply nor gate rule if you want more and more explain just you mail me and just you uh, if you have any query just drop out uh, in youtube comment box please subscribe the channel and uh, you share it uh, inform your friends thanks to all viewers